Uh, Volodymyr manages a 250-hectare farm in a suburb of Zviv, which mainly cultivates wheat, corn, soybean, and sunflower seed, which are Ukraine's major export crops. But the escalating situation has driven up the prices of energy as well as fertilizers, and these increases are becoming unbearable for local farmers. The price of diesel has risen by 25 percent, and we don't know whether it'll keep rising. I guess that the overall production cost will increase by 10 percent. And meanwhile, the migrant exodus has also led to severe manpower shortages in some areas. In Vladimir's village, around 10 percent of the adult males have been recruited and sent to the front line, though Vladimir said they can still manage at present. We're running small and medium farms, so when our neighbors are drafted into the army, we'll have meetings and help them with the farming. Ukraine's agricultural ministry has estimated that around 70 percent of the cultivated land nationwide can still be tilled this year. If mine clearance can be completed within several weeks, uh, the percentage may rise to 80 percent. Currently, Ukraine's food exports are facing huge challenges to, due to the blockade in the Black Sea, a major trade route for Ukraine. About 13 million tons of corn and 3.8 million tons of wheat cannot be transported by sea for the time being. Ukraine's Deputy Minister of Defense, Hanna Malyar, said earlier that it's not clear when trade through the Black Sea can resume. Uh, the UN has warned that, with Ukraine's spring plowing hindered and a suspension in its food trade, the already record-breaking food price may increase by a further 22 percent, which will have far-reaching impacts on global food trade and security.